Now this is St. Michael Place, one of the very rare freehold projects. 74 units right here, all three bedrooms. We're standing in this top floor with a very unique 4.5 meter ceiling. This is this and this, this, this. Oh, it's called Merry Christmas. Now this is St. Michael Place, one of the very rare freehold projects that's in between Potong Pase and Bunkeng MRT Station. We're heading up to one of the three bedrooms and I think if you're a freehold lover looking for something that's below a $1.7 million quantum mark, this might be something that is interesting for you. Let's follow us, Protolim Brothers, for this home tour. Okay, so first up, freehold projects are now really in a rarity mode. The key reason is because over the past five years, there's so many 99s government land sales in terms of new launches that sprouted out. So freehold projects, the only way to get them is to go for existing resale projects. If not, you will have to wait for on block to happen, for a developer to buy over, relaunch into a brand new freehold project for you to select from. And we are standing in St. Michael's Place, a project that was completed in 1997. 74 units right here, all three bedrooms. We're standing in this top floor with a very unique 4.5 meter ceiling height and only the 8 top floor units here at level 11 will get this 4.5 meter ceiling height. We're going to show you later how you can utilize this to build a beautiful loft that has about 5 square meters right on top. Once you head up to the staircase, you can build a beautiful library on top, the play zone as well as your mini study room right there overlooking towards the south direction that you can see a glimpse of Sibiu right in front of you. Coming back here, St. Michael's Place is located between St. Michael Road as well as Jalan Taman and we are right smack between Porong Pase and Bunkeng MRT Station and all of you know Bunkeng MRT Station is located on the northeast line. This line has been very popular and that leads you straight towards Dobi God in just about three stations from Bunkeng because the next stop is Faro where you can enjoy shopping and thus very convenient transportation from here to walk to the MRT station at Bunkeng that is about nine minutes walk. So why is this project interesting? Now the key reason is because we are sitting on the land that's pretty equivalent to most of the land plots around the lanes right here along this entire belt. Predominantly, if you were to tell people that you live in the St. Michael's vicinity in terms of its landed and condominiums and clay, they will know where you are at. So St. Michael Place is an apartment status which I think is pretty huge because just take a look at the project right across the street from us. Uh, that's Region Residences. That project was completed in the year 2015. St. Michael's Place, 1997. Plot ratio is the same. Highest level, level 11. That's where I'm standing right now. Now this project right in front of us is called One St. Michael. It was completed in the year 2009. The land is slightly larger than St. Michael's place. Total number of units, 130 plus. So you can imagine as years progress, the architecture in terms of the number of units that developers can build in a project technically increased because it's 74, that's 130 plus, and then region residences, the latest one is 180 odd units. Of years goes by, units are string in nature in terms of the sizing. The latest project is right across us as well at three residences. That is going to be TOP in the year 2022 20, projected. Ongoing pricing in terms of the three bedrooms right there is already doing at about $1,900 per square foot. If you want to get a three bedroom that is about $800 plus to nine. Or square feet in nature. That's going to have an entry price for you at about close to 1.8 to 1.8 odd or maybe even 1.9 million dollars. Would there be potential for redevelopment? Definitely because the land size is pretty much the same but of course redevelopment needs a lot of hands to clap for it to happen because firstly you need over 80% of the residents agreeing to go for tender and then you need the developer to set their eyes on this plot of land plus discuss on the pricing, tender bid and stuff like that. So I would say that it definitely needs a lot of hands to clap. But most of all, I think is to set your eyes on a project that has this engine that is stuck within the plot of land. Meaning that it has this potential that in future it might happen or maybe it might not happen. So end of the day, it's really up to your preference whether you want to go for like a newer, newer kind of project or you want to set your eyes on the free roll project that's slightly older in nature but has the engine that's tucked within the development. Likely, you might be coming here for the schools as well. We're one kilometer from three schools. Two of them are Lisa Andrews uh, Village as well as Hong Wen Primary. Three bedrooms. 
Jones, 125, nice square feet, very decent size. The layouts in the late 1990s, they were all designed to be like this. No balconies, but the beauty is that this was done in 1997. You already have full height panel windows, so you're gonna enjoy this very nice unblocked view right in front. Layout is fantastic. The moment you enter, there's no foyer for units that were developed in the late 1990s. Basically, all the space is tucked into the place. So 1,259 square feet, you can really feel the size because you get this very nice, huge, elongated living dining space. Wall to wall is about 5 meters. As mentioned, only the top floor have 4.5 meters. So you can add on a 5 square meters loft by renovating it. And what usually people will do is that they will design a TV console beneath the stairway, relocating your sofa set to be at this area so that you look onto the TV and the stairway right here. So once you have that 5 square meters, 5 square meters will translate to about 53.8 square feet. So adding that back to your 1259 square feet, that will bring you to close to about 1,003 odd square feet in nature. And having that loft is fantastic, especially if you have kids, they want to just head up, read upstairs, play board games. It's going to be a very fun zone for them. Dining space, fantastic. Tucked in the corner, there's a lot of cabinetry space for you to put in your shoes. The moment you come in, perhaps you can set aside a mount for a gut renovation for it to happen. Now the flooring is a marble flooring, but if you want to change everything, you want to lay on vinyl flooring, this is great to go. You might think that, hey, there's only 74 units, is the maintenance fee going to be very high? No, the maintenance fee is only $300 per month. Very decent and reasonable. Two towers right here, full-on security. Basement parking, surprisingly, as well as surface level parking for visitors. The two towers are pretty grand. You even have a shelter right in between. Every tower has about 30 odd units evenly spread. Every level has four units. So you only have three neighbors on level 11 right here. Now, kitchen, pretty squarish. I think there's a lot of potential because that you can bring down this wall. Remember construction during 1990s, there were no home shelter. So you don't have to worry about home shelter walls being trapped in the middle of the layout floor plan. Bring down this wall, build a nice beautiful island right there or maybe glass out the entire kitchen so you have a nice see-through effect. So when you stand in your kitchen zone, you can look up towards the dining plus your living. The yacht is a beautiful space for your washer come dry and natural clothes drying. The yacht zone is definitely something that right now, a lot of projects lacking in in terms of its design due to space constraints. One year before 2014, in 2013, there was a cooling measure because of the implementation of ABSD and LTV. Technically speaking, that is a very good year, 2014, to see how the market has reacted in terms of every different regions and districts. Let's have a look at District 12. Particularly, we want to look at a couple of projects right here along this entire belt at St. Michael's, as well as one very interesting project that sprouted out in the year 2013, 2014, right after the cooling measures. That is the project at 8 River Street, it's right beside Bunking. MRT station. So today, it Risu is doing very well because when it was launched in the year 2013 towards 2014, prices back then during the launch was all the way between about 1,002 to about 1,003 plus per square foot in terms of its launch price. And those units that we're talking about are largely the two and three beders, the 99 project, 800 over units. Why do we want to take that as a pivot is because that project technically has become a new benchmark for this entire region since 2014. What happened is that when we crossed the road towards region residences, region residences were still under the sub sale era because 2015 was the year it was completed. But back then, in terms of pricing per square foot, it was already trading at about 1,002 plus per square foot. If you were to come forward a little bit closer to here, one St. Michael at that time, it was also trading at about 1,002 plus per square foot for its freehold status. But Jalan Taman and the other project that is right beside us called the Aberdeen, they all were trading at about 1,000 per square foot in the year 2014. If I were to fast forward to today, 2021, what's happening right now at 8 River Street is that it is now threading in the range of about 1,005 plus. Some of the smaller units are close to about $1,600 per square foot, but averagely is about 1,005 plus per square foot. You cross opposite to region residences, it's also threading at about 1,005 plus per square foot. You head on towards 1 St. Michael, right now there's two Three bedroom for sale, both at $1.88 million. They're all asking at about $1,005 plus. St. Michael's Place, right here at Jalan Taman, this is now asking at $1.599 million for three bedroom that is 1259 square feet. Potential to go up to about 1,300 square feet if you put up to lost space. But overall, PSF is only at about 1,002 plus per square foot. Similarly, if I were to cross right across the street towards the Tui Residences, which is the latest freehold new launch to be completed next year, the new benchmark pricing right there 
is about $1,900 per square foot. When they TOP and when once the owners hit their seller stamp duty period, they're going to be looking at close to about $2,000 or maybe $2,100 per square foot for some of the units right there. In terms of quantum and PSF, St. Michael's Place is hitting a very nice, interesting sweet spot that not only gives the potential of a future kind of upside, we are not sure whether that will happen, but based on plot ratio and land size and the number of units right here and the height that it can still go up to perhaps about 26 level, I think there's a lot of potential in terms of pricing, PSF and future movement. So interestingly, when you head to the bedrooms, the layout then becomes more modern right here because this is the, the usual kind of new launch project layout that bedrooms will have, having that foyer going to your bedroom. So you have three bedrooms here, common room size, and all the bedrooms and living room is overlooking this same direction. Now, that is towards south. That is, of course, the city. On our left-hand side, that's Bandemia. Usually, families that love to be very close to the Potong Basse MRT station, they will go for the 99 years projects. It's all tucked around the perimeter of Potong Pasir MRT station. But families that are freehold lovers, they will usually cross over to the St. Michael's area to look to hunt for some of the older freehold projects right here. So I think it's really a choice about your preference and what are you looking for. Okay, so you have a nice storage right at this angle as well. This is a room that is a mirror image of the other room, currently is used as a study room. Both rooms you can fit in queen bed. The structures, they're all built in a very solid fashion. Even the wall houses are all very solid wall tiles. Definitely, I think if you want like a modern reno, set aside close to 100,000 as mentioned at the start of the video. So if you were to add on back to the total asking price without negotiation, that millennial will then bring you to about 1.65 million, which I think is still very decent in this day and age to own a freehold three bedroom. Uh, so ensuite, you even have a long bath. Most importantly is to note that the size of the ensuite is decent in size, so you can renovate to a modern kind of fashion. Size is great. Uh, right now, this is a queen bed, two huge side tables, a lot more room to go, uh, wardrobe face tucked right along this wall line. So most importantly, I think it's easy to design because you can design this entire wall line to be a full eight to nine panels kind of wardrobe space. And then you can put in a nice study table that's fronting towards this window space. So notice that you have wall to wall kind of window spent uh, length and currently the windows are tinted, looks a little bit more bluish. So I think it's up to your choice how you want to redesign this space. You want to put in invisible grills that's doable as well. Coming back here, you still have a lot of wall space right here. So I think the room, size by itself is nicely done. I think you're getting into a great locale, D12. D12 is considered the RCR zone. We look at how prices are moving. Look at the three distinct regions in Singapore, OCR, RCR, and CCR. OCR, definitely in terms of PSF for new launches, doing at about 1,002 plus, all the way to close to $1,700 per square foot for some of the integrated developments. You move towards RCR, definitely the start point at about $1,000, $6,700 per square foot, all the way to about $2,000 per square foot. You move towards CCR, they're all threading at close to about two. $2,500 per square foot for 99's launches. So if you track back that to a freehold project, I think getting into something that is at about 1,002 plus per square foot, it is called a safe entry entry price in terms of per square foot. In about five years to come, I think when you look back, it's like 1,002 plus per square foot is really something that perhaps we can't even find. Thank you for following us for this home tour and once again, if you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing manager. The numbers are all right down below. As well as head on to our propertylibras.com insights page to read more research and articles that we publish every week by our PRB Insights team. Remember to subscribe to our Property Libras YouTube channel. So my name is Melvin Lim, always happy to show the place and meantime, take care. <clears throat>啊, this is St. Michael Place. Testing, testing. The preference and what are you looking for? So <laughs> it's called Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. Alright.